here to Amman in the UAE and to the main factory of Gulfcraft. It's here that they build their largest super yachts and they've also just celebrated 30 years of boat production. Gulfcraft is headquartered at the site of its original factory, where it also has a showroom. But if you want to see the super yachts, you need to take a short drive up the coast to the port of Alam Quain. Pass through two pairs of security gates, receiving smart salutes as you go, and you've arrived. This modern facility was set up in the year 2000 and has direct access to the Arabian Gulf. This allows all of Gulf Cross production here to be put through rigorous sea trials before delivery. In charge of day-to-day -day activity is Chief Operating Officer Erwin Bamps, who's been with the company since 2001. Well, we're producing a range in Gulfcraft, within Gulfcraft, from 26 foot up to the newest uh, 151 foot. And what we define as super yacht uh, here internally is over 30 meter. So we are producing from 101 up to 151 at the moment, um, with a you know a very wide diversity of different models we produce, but also knowing that we never produce the same yacht ever, even within the same model, we produce unique pieces. Gulfcraft has been vertically integrated. Uh, over 30 years we're building boats and we actually had to acquire every discipline, every technology, skill set that it takes to, to put a product as complex almost as a private jet together. Um, that vertical integration has allowed us to, to continue to build customized yachts and boats. But also systems and procedures have been enhanced. We have introduced some more quality control and even bonus systems uh, to motivate people to take initiative from bottom up um, to add value to the organization, to the product, to the process, uh, in our aim to, to uh, improve our customization and increase our efficiency. The ability to efficiently customize is key to Gulfcraft's success. The company says that with vertical integration and a flexible and motivated workforce, clients can have exactly what they want for often less money than buying a standard production yacht from a European yard. But a lower price tag doesn't mean sacrificing quality, as a tour of the workshops revealed. One thing you notice with Gulfcraft is that their stainless steel is all custom made. The workshop here can produce almost anything out of stainless steel. And because of the cost of manpower, the quality really is first class because they can spend an awful lot of time really getting it right. Well, this is the water jet. Very noisy, just about hear me. And what it's doing, high pressure water with sand is cutting through that till there. And this is an example of the intricate work that this machine can do. Let me just look at the detail on that. Gulfcraft has two huge construction halls at this facility. One for yachts of up to 30 metres and the other for super yachts. Both open onto a large area of hard standing. In front of me we have uh, the marina, we have the launching base, we have two of them here with a 150 tonne and a 500 tonne travel lift. So the boats actually move straight out into the water and heading out to sea. Uh, we have about uh, 500 staff in this particular area putting the boats together and since we are doing everything in-house uh, we see workshops around this area contributing uh, to the production line um, bringing all the mechanical electrical items but also the furniture all the interior fit out and the fittings on board. Well we're looking here at the uh, assembly hall for the super yachts and we're producing everything from 121 and above in this particular hall. And here to my left, uh, we have 135, one of three under construction in this hall at the moment. Uh, a lot of demand, everything you see behind me is built, built to order. Well, this is part of Gulfcraft's investment in new technology. A CNC cutter, which is used not just for the custom build, but also for the production models. And again, it can cut things incredibly precisely and very quickly. We have about 1,500 staff distributed over four shipyards. That staff, of course, is collected from all over the world. Uh, the majority of the staff is from Southeast Asia, Indian, and uh, because we are in this place, allows us to, to dig into the labor force that's readily available in the region. But we have not, uh, of course, only uh, taken our resources from the region, but uh, look for people and talent all over the world. We have been able to, to try and focus on adding value in every 
particular hull we build, um, building relationships rather than products over the years. And so that uh, consistency in growth, that uh, confidence and trust that we have been uh, building on, growing over the years, has uh, built us a large loyalty in our client base and that is ever expanding and it's no longer of course regional. Today we are truly a global boat builder but with still uh, values that, that reflect how we started with the focus on client, client orientation, um, in terms of customizing our product as well as in the personalized approach of our relationship with him. And we believe there's a good future not only for super yachts uh, market and our role within it but uh, for boating business in general. We believe that there is uh, an increasing interest for boating and yachting worldwide uh, but other people are looking for a slightly different approach though and uh, we believe we we understand what people are looking for they're looking for a product that's slightly different they're still looking for individuality they're still looking for something that's not off the shelf and that's exactly what we're offering today for a global clientele <laughs>